Hi guys, a few days um, ago I found on the internet very interesting stepper motor so I decided to try to use it in my pick and place machine. This is Li Chine uh, integrated stepper motor. I don't know is this the only company making this uh, uh, this kind of stepper motors. I, I don't think so because I found some other on, on other websites uh, so I'm not sure. So uh, how how it's different than the usual usual stepper motor this is by the way NEMA NEMA 17 Bo both of them are um, so the interesting thing with this stepper motor is that uh, this one can be drill driven with the normal TTS signal so uh, basically you can drive it with Arduino and this one has to be driven with higher currents uh, so you have to connect it like a stepper driver for it um, so I have it has well very uh, advanced uh, properties i didn't test it fully but the good thing is that it's like a wannabe servo because it has a it has a optic encoder inside i i didn't open it i, I don't want to open it I, I just i will install it on my pick and place machine instead of normal nema 17 motor and just to test it but you can choose uh, you can on this one you can choose pulses per revolution and it can be connected to a computer for a, for a software tuning and um, so I've got this schematic from from its uh, uh, datasheet and I've connected it uh, like this from the Arduino I've used the uh, normal step and direction plus enable enable line uh, but for this motor you need to use um, uh, TTL signals on 5 volts, it's not working reliable on 3.3 volts. Uh, so at first I, I tried with the, I was trying with Arduino Due, but it's not uh, this this one gives 3.3 volt signals. So I will try with Arduino Uno. And the good thing and interesting thing with this uh, with this motor is that it has in position and alarm signals signals. So uh, in case that uh, that it when it reaches position, it at least that's what I think it gives uh, in position signal. And in case of um, that that this uh, uh, motor loses steps or anything, uh, it can pull low. In this configuration, it pulls low uh, alarm signal. So it uh, in case that this engine loses steps, uh, it can stop your operation, whatever you do. And this is good because you can drive it to the maximum without uh, being afraid that it will lose steps. So I prepared a small Arduino sketch and let's let's try to, to run this engine. Okay, so this is the hardware installation manual and, and um, there are several interesting things to see before you connect the motor apart of the volt voltages and where you connect the power supply to it. I already show, shown this to you, so I'll be connecting it like this uh, from the Arduino, so Arduino will be uh, uh, providing it as a, as a PMP controller, as a PMP transistor, so it will be uh, driving this line high, and it won't, uh, it will not be pulling it down like here in an NPN connection. But um, the other thing you need to consider before, before connecting is... Um, here the speed so calculating rotation speed and angle and you don't want to be overdriving this because it will it will just lose steps and and it will uh, stop and re reset uh, and the last thing is this setup control uh, setup timing so i prepared my sketch just to follow in, in rough lines this uh, these uh, timings so these I've more or less copied the timings and I just added a few microseconds uh, on, on that one and I've chosen three Arduino pins just randomly 5, 6 and 7 this, these are by the way digital pins and I, I'm using uh, lead pin 13 just to just to show that uh, sketch is working something if the engine is not turning at all so I will be enabling first and then I will be setting the uh, uh, direction and I will be doing 30,000, uh, 60,000 steps in one direction and I, I will repeat that in, in the opposite direction. So let's try this.
Okay, you've seen the you've seen the data sheet uh, on the computer. So I have uh, here in front of in front of myself this Arduino uh, Arduino Uno board, and uh, I prepared small small connection. Uh, I've just soldered three lines there as on a schematic. I soldered three lines to uh, to a common ground, so this will be connected to a to a ground on Arduino. And I've used the five, six, and seven lines, uh, as you seen on the sketch, for a stepper, step direction, and, and enable. And so I'll be using 24 volt power supply. I have it here on my side. Uh, so let's just switch it on. Yeah. So power supply is on. I don't know. Can you see it? The LED is lit. It's uh, it's not very bright. And I, I already uploaded uh, the sketch from the Arduino, so let's try, let's try to let's try to run it by resetting Arduino. Yeah, it seems to be working. So I will install this in my in my pick and place machine instead of normal uh, NEMA NEMA engine and give it a go.